What's up everybody? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Reviews. Today we have Wild Discs. Uh, we are trying Wild Discs for the very first time. They sent us pretty much every disc in their lineup or just about every disc in their lineup and we're going to walk you through them. We're going to show you how they fly. Big shout out to Micah for hooking us up with Wild Discs and getting these over to us. I'm very excited about them. The plastic feels super good. Word on the street is that they work with MVP and uh, I think maybe another manufacturer he said, but a lot of them feel like MVP streamlined plastic. They feel amazing. I'm gonna first just sort of tell you what we got. Um, so that. first off, this is the Angler. Super sick. Like I said, this feels very much so like streamlined plastic is, I don't know, the best I can compare it to. Got some metal flake. Overstable approach disc, 4303. Love overstable approach discs. Um, this is called the Great White, and we're going to do our best to show you what this does, but it's not going to happen because it's a 13 speed. Uh, 13, 5, negative 1, 3. Wow. So it's some, a nuke. Some beef there. Yeah, it's a nuke. This one I'm actually very excited about. This feels and looks amazing. The Tasmanian Devil. Oh, that's sick. 9404. Fire Show me birdie. how flat it is. It's pretty flat. Maybe a little bit. That's sick. Yeah. Uh, hyena. Also feels amazing. This feels kind of like titanium plastic is the kind of vibe. 95 negative 2, 2. That's exciting. Love that. Uh, and then we have, I think these are my favorite from just looking at them. <laughs> we have some sea otters. It also comes in another plastic, but I forgot to bring that one. Um, 2302. Love those numbers on throwing putter. This one's more putter plastic. Feels really good. Beadless putter. Cole Redolin. Cole Redolin, yeah. Was Shout say. out. That's sick. Um, and then our last one, we have the Attics. 5501. What's an Attics? I don't know. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. That's what it looks like, though. And, an and then, again, thank you to Micah for sending us a couple extra Attics. Uh, so we're going to give them a rip. We're going to give the Attics a try. 5501. Should be. Should be pretty pretty straight. Oh, very glidey. Got some nice turn out of it. Yeah. I kind of threw it nose up, but very glidey. Got a little right turn for a second. Ooh, yeah. That one's beefier. Well, threw it on a little bit. A little, a little bit less flat, yeah. I really like the glide, though. So this is 5501. Five, 5501. Five, five, zero, There you Very go. straight. Yeah, you put a move on and that And then one. that zero one at the end. There it is. There's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that actually feels really, really good. I like that a lot. Next, I'm going to throw the Sea Otter. I've actually been very excited about this one. Feels really good. Very shallow rim. Feels almost like a Sensei. Oh. Uh, but it's 2302, so maybe a little bit more stable. Yeah. Go! So this is that in base plastic that Cole Redolin? Yes, this one's in base plastic, so it's probably more so for putting. Does he putt with those? I don't know. Feels like it would be a good putter, very comfortable. But we're gonna throw it for this review's sake. And yeah, nice and overstable. Very seamless in the hand is what I like most about it. Like thin, shallow rim, just kind of there. All right. The Angler, 4303. I think I'm going to throw this on forehand. The artwork is sick on these. The artwork has been sick. Stamps are really cool. Uh, and so far, all of the plastic feels amazing. No flashing. This is a beaded overstable approach disc. There's a pretty sizable bead. Uh, so that's going to make it a little unique. Oh, get it yeah. out there. Nice and overstable. Yeah. Big skip. That's pretty much what you want out of that. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Oh, I think yeah. I'm going to throw this on forehand too. Yeah. But this one feels probably the best out of all of them. This plastic feels great. <laughs> Super swirly also. Looks cool. No flashing. 9404. And yeah, the artwork's really cool. Yeah. That fought right out of that, dude. It wow. did. Very beefy. I like it though. That's what you want. And then the hyena, which I'm also very excited about. Got the like... What's this called? Winter Sunset or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Winter stamp. Sunset stamp. Ooh, Beautiful. Foil. Yeah. Yeah, I like the artwork. It's reminiscent to me of like Discmania Signature Series artwork. Yeah. Try and throw this one a little flat. 
Oh, that one's flippy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at it go. That's great, though. I love that. Right. Wow. <laughs> that thing got up and got moving. That could be a good one. That's probably the most understable, like, kind of straight flying nine speed of thrown. That like might the be the flippiest nine speed we've ever thrown out of the box. Yes. Like. And now we're going to try and throw this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Super domey. Very pop top. 13, 5, negative 1, 3. See what we can do with this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. dude, I thought you might get a tube. Kind of like a nuke, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing's beef. All right, so the first thing that stands out is just how the plastic feels. Feels really, really good. I think the only true base plastic one we have is the sea otter. Um, but the sea otter flies so straight. Uh, and this feels really good in the hand. I feel like it would be a good putting putter. 2302. Great numbers love the sea otter probably my favorite out of the bunch is going to be either the sea otter or the addicts the addicts flies a lot like a buzz but uh i don't know something about it feels really good in the hand this plastic is like stiff enough to not be gummy but also not like stiff as a board it's got a little bit of give to it feels so good uh, i think it's got a slightly thinner rim maybe than a buzz but it flies very similar. Zero one stability, love that. The Tasmanian Devil was also sick. The Tasmanian Devil probably had the best feeling plastic on it. I don't know what they did with this like swirly plastic, but it feels incredible. It feels almost like a Clash Discs kind of plastic that's just like, or Castaplast that has like the top of the top, best plastic out there. Feels really good. I also really love the Hyena. It's like almost a roller disc out of the box. Uh, but if you throw it on hyzer, it can flip up and turn right and keep turning. And for a 9-speed, that's pretty unique. That's cool to have. Um, I could see a lot of beginners really loving this disc, and I could see a lot of intermediate players or even more advanced players using this as a fur, like a farther flying... I feel like understable 7-speeds are really popular, so if you want like a woods disc that's going to fly even farther, this is great. The angler is very unique, like massive, massive bead, a little bit domey, um, super overstable. It does feel kind of like a five speed, so that's a unique spot. And of course, we can't really throw the shark the way it's meant to be thrown because <laughs> it's just so freaking beefy and the rim is like four inches wide. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, also the plastic on this feels really good. Just super pop top, feels a lot like a nuke. Um, overall, really liking what Wild Discs is putting out. We have not really thrown much of their plastic before. Like I said, they give over 5% of their proceeds to wildlife conservation efforts. So that's really cool. Uh, again, shout out to Micah. <laughs> Thank you for hooking us up, man. And yeah, we're gonna give them the swanky seal of approval on this whole lineup of discs is really impressive. I had heard of Wild Discs from quite a while ago and they didn't really have any discs. Uh, they also they have that kangaroo bag that's really beautiful. I remember that. But that was all I remembered. I didn't know they had such a filled lineup of sweet, sweet molds and really nice feeling plastic. Be sure to go check them out. We'll see you in the next one. Stay swanky.